question to you, Kelly, is why do doctors sometimes medicate kids too quickly when they have an illness? Well, you know what? There are certain certain diagnoses, okay. right? That can be done with just a simple observation. Okay. When you look at autism, autism is someone who speaks, has difficulty speaking, impaired communication, they perseverate, that means they do something over and over and over again, okay. or they feel socially awkward, like they feel uncomfortable in a crowd. Okay. So those three things, they could go with grieving, they could go with relocating to a new area, they can go with a lot of different things. Okay. Um, but one of the key things is self-awareness, like right. helping people to understand how they communicate, like mm -hmm. helping kids understand how they communicate, helping teachers understand how to communicate with kids, right. so that we can ask the proper questions to dive deeper into those three things. Okay. Right? Yes. And so I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example. So I have a son who has PDD and OS, right? Okay. And that's pervasive developmental disorder, not other specified, right? Thank you. <laughs> so Okay. So he has this, and so that means, and it's auditory processing delay. So that means, like, he hears things kind of like Charlie Brown's teacher. Okay? So you remember everything was like, wah, 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 wah. Absolutely. Okay. So he hears the water. He hears the music. He hears the background people talking. Mm -hmm. He hears planes going by at the same volume. Like, okay. there's no distinction as to what's higher or lower. Everything just sounds exactly the same. Okay. Right? Okay. So sometimes when you say something to him, it's hard for him to discern where the voice is coming from or what's directed to him. Right. So one day we're going to we're going we're getting ready to leave, right? He knows we're getting ready to go to church, right? Okay. And I say, Jay, go get your shirt. Mm -hmm. And he goes to the door and just stands. And I'm like, Jay, go get your shirt. Okay. And he still stands at the door. So I took his magna doodle to mm -hmm. him because his language is writing okay writing and reading okay and i said jay what did mommy just say and he wrote down s h i mean uh c h u r c h so he heard go and he heard church okay now if you're a clinician and you don't take the time to discern like what exactly he's saying mm -hmm. you're gonna say well he has oppositional divine disorder all right right okay. or you know he's just indifferent or he's depressed mm -hmm. and that's why he's not following directions mm -hmm. but really what happens sometimes is they get anxious right because they can't figure out which sound is directed to them okay. so overwhelmed yeah. too much yes all these different sounds <laughs> okay. what's for me okay. and so if a clinician doesn't take the time to do a deeper dive mm -hmm. into self-awareness um then it could be harder for a child to get the right diagnosis okay. and that's why i wrote my book shameless plug shameless plug that's why I wrote my book. Get the book. Get, get the book. That's it. That's it. Don't skim it. Buy it. For it, it is tangible. And basically what it talks about is self-awareness clues. Okay. Like helping people to understand what's their best environment, what's mm -hmm. their best communication language, mm -hmm. you know, who's their right, who's the best mentor, yeah. right? Because certain mentors have certain expectations that don't coincide with the way you best communicate okay. or the way you best socialize. Okay. Okay. So buy the book. And thank you, Kelly, for breaking that down for me. I appreciate it.